Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. This tutorial is going to continue scripting and we're going to learn a little bit okay, actually we're not gonna learn too much. Um because we're just gonna cover the how to navigate through the hierarchy um that can be seen in the explorer here. We're going to learn how to navigate through that by scripting. Because this is a big big part of um, scripting and without it you can't do too much um, we might go over properties uh, or that might be next tutorial through scripting not sure yet we'll see how we are on time and um, then I know we're going to be going over built-in functions uh, very soon so let's let's uh, get started I guess all right we'll go to our script and take out this print hello world so first step is going to be just finding uh, let's just here we'll do print and um... what do we want to go to well let's just print game let's just print the workspace how do you print the workspace Well, type in you can do one of two things one you can type in workspace with it uncapitalized by the way, everything is case sensitive um, in scripting, basically. Basically, everything. Print workspace. If we go over here and we just click this play button, we'll see there's a little bit of an error here. Um, I'm not going to explain the error yet because I'm going to do that in another tutorial when we've gotten further. So we're actually going to do print workspace. And the error kind of was, hey, we have no clue what you're doing because you had a space. So just make it a function, sort of, and it should work better. So we'll go over here, we'll close it, pause, play. Okay, just go over here and disable, re-enable. Re and we get workspace. It printed workspace for us with a capital W. So we know it's not printing a string, the a string we inputted. It's actually printing um, the name of an object that you found through the explorer's hierarchy. So we found that. Now, what if we wanted to print out the name of one of these brick or base base because there's a million bricks. What if we wanted to do that for base? Well, actually, no. First, I'll show you the second way of how to get to the workspace. So this is sort of the shortcut, but the way I prefer is game.workspace. And game is literally the game. It starts, it, it's everything. Everything is in said game. And then you go down to workspace and everything in that. Lighting, everything in that. Players, everything in that. And so forth for every, everything. So we'll print this out. All we have to do is go down here, and by disabling the script, we're stopping the script, making it not able to do anything, and then by re-enabling it, we're really restarting the script. So, when we do that, we'll see it printed workspace again down here in the output. Now, let's get to printing that base. Okay. Now, I didn't explain too much about this game that workspace thing. But I'm going to explain a little bit more now. So game dot workspace. Why do I keep saying game dot workspace? Why isn't it just game workspace or workspace or the game's workspace? Well, in a lot of different object oriented programming or scripting languages, <coughs> you get the children or the descendants of different objects. Game is an object here and the object is the entire game. And you could almost call them sub-objects. It's more common to call them children. You get the object's children usually by putting a period, or what's called a dot separator sometimes. I just call it dot because it's quicker. Sounds cooler too. You put a dot and then the programming compiler will know that you want to go. And you want to find either a sub-function or a sub-object or a variable or something. I know some of these are names I've never used with you guys yet. 
but you want to go in and you want to find a name um or not a name sorry 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 you want to go in and you want to find a child of it in this instance you want to find a child so you're going to go into game and then think of it kind of here this should this should give a good illustration I'm gonna open up Windows Explorer okay so you start out and you have all of this and if you go into BB13SN you'll find more stuff but if you go up here and you click on the URL thing libraries slash BB13SN so you're going from the libraries um, object we'll call it even though it's really a folder you go from the libraries object and pretend that backslash is really a period or a dot. You're going into it, then you're going into a subfolder or a child of that file. And that's how it's sort of explained. I hope I did a good job of explaining that. Um, if I didn't, post it in the comments below and uh, I'll try to do better next time. So, game.workspace. Now, let's get to actually printing the base. Game.workspace. Can you guys guess what we're going to do? So the name of that object, the name of the object we have over here is base. Right? That's the name of our object. So how are we going to access it? Good question. Here's a simple answer. For uh, Some of you might have already guessed, especially more of, uh, my more advanced people. Game.workspace.base. Remember, it's case sensitive, so you do have to capitalize it as you capitalized it in your game. Dot base. So now we go to place one. We'll go to the script. Disable, enable. Oh, enable. And it printed base for us. So base is now there. And we know it's there because we printed it and there. So. It's a little bit of how to go through the hierarchy um, I through scripting. Next, the tutorial, because this has been longer than I wanted it to be. Next tutorial, we'll be printing the values of properties um, of different objects. And uh, after that, we'll probably go into uh, built-in functions in Lua. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.